Hello, CLC family. We're wrapping up our second week of our SGC devotionals with our final belief. Today's focus is on eternity. Our prayer is that as you continue this journey, following your daily reading plans and also journaling each day, there continues to be tremendous growth in your spiritual walk. May these daily habits paired with our weekend sermons and meeting weekly with your life groups encourage you to keep diving into God's word, seeking more understanding, revelation, and learning how to make it practical in our everyday lives. As I dived into today's chapter, it was such a heavy reminder that so many people, even in the church today, are uncertain about the future and when it comes to eternity, and even more in the world who reject the thought of heaven and hell. We need to be reminded that God's word tells us that Jesus will return to judge all people and to establish his eternal kingdom. God has told us that he has provided life for eternity and that when we die, while our physical bodies are no more, our spirits live on and our only options are heaven and hell. Now, many great apologists have concluded it's better to believe in God and the eternity that he has prepared for us and live according to that belief, because if we gain, we gain it all. Even if we choose to believe and we lose, we lost nothing. On the contrary, our choice not to believe, if we end up losing, we lose everything. We know it can sometimes feel awkward to talk about hell, but God's truth must be taken as a whole, the easy parts and the tough parts. As believers, followers of Christ, Christians, we know of salvation through Christ Jesus and we embrace a promise of heaven. We await his return to the earth where his first order of business is to judge mankind. Unlike judgment we are familiar with, his judgment will be under the authority of his justice. Satan and his followers will receive their judgment and Christ's followers will receive his promise of an imperishable and resurrected bodies equipped to live with him on the new earth. The more I focus on God's promises for me as a believer, having received salvation, the more hope I experience and the less fear of the future I have. My future now feels secure despite temporary circumstances. My boldness to witness also increases because there's something to look forward to that I'm eager to share with the world who is yet to know him as their Lord and Savior. The more I'm also aware of hell and its reality, the more hungry and driven I am to snatch people away from the path they're on with a life absent of God. We all have people around us who are walking the same path. Today, as you journal, I wanna encourage you to write their names down, pray for them, lead blameless lives before them, and continue to live out and speak God's truth before them. Their eternal destination is dependent on it. God wants to use each of us. He's equipped us and he's given us a mandate to reach the lost. There's no doubt heaven and hell is real, but God has given us choices. And as we choose to follow him, our future is secure. And we now look to build God's kingdom as well as prepare others for his return. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for your promises, your word that is truth. I pray that all of us today will choose you. In so doing, we surrender our lives, we repent, and we seek you for forgiveness, and we accept the gift of salvation you have so freely given. It was a big price to pay, but you thought that we were worth it. May our hearts not be troubled, but rest in knowing you're preparing a place for us, so that as we live our lives pleasing to you, that one day we will spend our eternities with you. Our sincere prayer is that as we walk in that security, that you will help us to see others through your eyes, that convictions will arise for us to share this hope and assurance with those you placed in our past, friends, family members, coworkers, even strangers. Father, that you are the great gardener, and as we yield ourselves to be used by you, empowered by your Holy Spirit, to partner with your activity, to plant seeds or even water seeds of truth, that many more will come to the knowledge of your saving grace. May we partner with you to shrink hell and to expand your eternal kingdom. Give us your heart for people and empower us to keep the faith, to stand firm for ourselves and to share this hope and gift while we await your return. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for being with us and we hope that you join us again tomorrow.